सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ऑफ बी टेन एक्स एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली वेल टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ ए आई वीडियोज वेयर वी ट्राई टू इंटीग्रेट सम कोडिंग स्टफ यूजिंग चैट जी पी टी और वी ट्राई टू डू सम टाइप ऑफ कोडिंग यूजिंग वेरियस अदर ए आई टूल्स बट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू अबाउट अ न्यू कोड एडिटर विच इज़ देयर इन टाउन दैट इज़ पावर्ड बाई ए आई टू सो Let's start the video. But before starting the video, I just want you to know that if you are interested in these AI tools, we have an AI tools workshop that is just available for nine rupees. You can check that out. And let's continue the video. Nine rupees. Nine rupees cannot even buy you this packet of biscuit. But what if I tell you that nine rupees can help you save your job? What if I tell you that nine rupees can three x your salary? Yes, this is possible because I am going to conduct a workshop at just rupees nine on Chat GPT and other AI tools, which is highly recommended for all working professionals out there. So, like for the nearly ten years now, Microsoft VS Code has been the dominant text editor. among the dev community and i personally use it on my microsoft window machine to write microsoft typescript code with the help from the latest ai models in microsoft copilot it installs my microsoft npm packages pushes my code to microsoft github and automatically deploys it to microsoft azure which i then admire from the microsoft edge browser but almost nothing in text stays cool forever and today we'll be looking at a fast new open source editor named z So Z is a text editor which is built in Rust and it was open source and it's built by the team which was behind the Atom editor and which is a great editor that your senior generations might have used or your boss who's working with you but why we are talking about a code editor as we all know that there are already code editors why we need to change one because nowadays if you know there is this new thing that people say that AI would replace you or something like people say that programming is dead a skill that will be soon replaced by artificial intelligence and some people believe that this will happen any day now and a new startup called magic has just raised 145 million in part from the founders of github to build a coworker not just as a copilot they are betting on the idea that coding will ultimately lead to artificial general intelligence at which point everybody's job would be in a situation where they would be in trouble and i believe that we should not totally be dependent on coding we should be uh, learning new skills every day so that we could stay relevant to the industry trends and that is why guys i just want to have a small talk to you right now nowadays you all might know that ai is taking over the world and in just a short span of time you have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by ai and what not and, and i believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right well i can assure you that an ai won't replace you but the person using ai will surely so if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our 3 hour ai tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best ai tools to upskill yourself increase your productivity and also enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now so let's continue the video so recently if you don't know many people have complained that chat gpt has gotten worse at coding recently like back in 1969 people thought that by 2024 we would have moon bases and intergalactic light speed travel but that technology was never meant to be because people figured out that we live on a flat stationary plane right now and everybody wants you to think that ai is coming they could be right and maybe you should depend on ai and be do the coding through that but there's also a race going on to build the best ai enabled code editor you have got Copilot, MVS Code, you have got the cursor editor. There's JetBrains AI and a bunch of others that brings us to the Z code editor about which we are going to talk about. First and foremost, it's an extremely fast, high-performance editor, but also does a great job integrating AI. One thing that irritates me a lot about VS Code is that it can be slow, and and now I don't feel like learning a new code editor that is Vim, or I can't afford a subscription to JetBrains. And Z is an extremely attractive option because it's extremely fast. The insertion latency, startup time, and memory footprint are all much better than the competition it achieves. This performance comes by leveraging all of your CPU cores along with the GPU using its own GPU framework. It also works like a video game where it registers the entire window to deliver 120 frames per second mostly it's like a video game where you play any game and you get a frames uh, more better frames the more better quality you would get and it's uh, same that is happening while you are doing coding too so when you open it for the first time you'll notice it's very minimal and it has a vim mode syntax highlighting a few different themes to choose from and an integrated terminal 
It is a command palette and overall feels pretty similar to most other code editors. The company itself raised $10 million last year and has another feature geared more towards the teams where multiple people can collaborate in real time on the same code base. Pretty cool and I imagine they'll have some kind of paid features around this in the future. But another unique feature is that the editor is also integrated with AI out of the box. It supports GitHub Copilot but also allows you to bring in your open AI key to have a conversation about your code right in the editor. So instead of paying for a subscription, you just bring in your own open API key and pay based on the number of tokens that you use. You can also highlight a piece of code and then tell the AI to refactor it, rewrites the code right in front of your eyes like magic. But mostly just provides a clean experience when working with AI in your code. Currently, it's only open AI, but in the future, I imagine they'll also have additional models as well as like Gemini's new 1 million plus token window is really impressive and is already showing a ton of promising when, when working in a large code base. Overall, though, my initial impression of Z is very positive. It's clean and fast, but there are some limitations. Currently, it's not extensible. So there's this feature missing that there's going to be a plugin and to help you out they plan on to release a plugin api in the future i believe that it is a great code editor but it but it will be never big as the javascript based vs code editor but by far the biggest limitation as of today is that it's only available on mac os that the, that might be a big disappointment for a lot of users who are using this code editor but the company plans on to support the windows and linux in the future as long term uh, as a long-term business model if they find a viable business through it so if i talk about at the conclusion of it it may not be a vs code killer as of today but it does have the potential to get there assuming that programming is still a thing done by humans in the next few years while they have ai assistance to them until the time we keep on with the pace of learning different ai tools and work with everything while we also enhance our skills we can cope up with the AI and, and we don't need to worry about losing our job. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you like the video. And if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and also drop a comment if you have any doubts. And don't forget to subscribe B10X. And if you also want to upskill yourself and don't want to lose your job, attend our AI Tools workshop that is just available for 9 rupees. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.